what are some things that you're seeing happening? You, you get the, the ability to come and go and, and kind of check in almost on an annual basis. So with that removal, things change every year. What, what are some things that you've been seeing change that yeah, are that's, positive? Yeah, that's part of the cool part is every time I come, I, I kind of don't know what to expect, but I know there's going to be growth. Yeah. And uh, so just, just as I said, that coming for that 22 years, you see in one generation, this is what I think is surprising, and you don't get the perspective of time like this very often, yeah. but just coming every year, you get a snapshot and the people living here don't see a lot of change, and I see it, and I'm able to talk about it. And do, to do that continually for two decades, you begin to see an entire nation develop and kind of blossom. And so it was one of those situations where when I was getting on the plane in Amsterdam to come, I knew exactly when I saw the crowd, oh, these are Romanians. Now you get on the plane and uh, you guys have joined the Western U the EU, and it's just like getting on a plane to France or England or anywhere. So. The development has been exciting to see, the growth has been exciting to see, the sophistication, the, the uh, education, everything is just, you guys have done in one generation what it took many countries to do a much longer period of time. So the growth has been tremendous in a short period of time, I know that causes some issues, but I think it's more of been a blessing because it's, uh, it's just, you've leapfrogged into the 21st century in a unique way, and now the young people in Romania, you've got this vibrant, educated, group of people that are really pushing for change, yeah. uh, a lot of positive energy. Unfortunately, a lot of people have left Romania for other opportunities, but I think we're going to see now in the next generation, the next five and ten years, you're going to see a lot of people coming back. Mm -hmm. And that's what excites me and what excites me about when I heard what you're doing, uh, raising up a generation of entrepreneurs, because if you can create opportunities, economic opportunities for these young people, they're not going to have to leave. Yeah. And uh, they've seen everything that the West has to offer, and they, they want that lifestyle but they also want it in a, in a way that's Romanian, uniquely Romanian, and yeah. uh, that's cool. Uh, as I always tell everybody, I, I come to Romania, I eat your food, I'm with your people, and I, and I leave energized and uh, stronger than I came, and I go back and give the blessing to America, and so uh, a lot of good things are happening here, and, and the word is getting out. So every time I go home, a video like this, I'll show this to our friends, and Ryan's going to do more of this on a regular basis. I keep telling him, get the word out. Let people know what's happening in Romania, not just in Bucharest, but all over the country. Yeah. And, and you're part of that revolution, you're part of that first generation, that wave of pioneers, young people that are, that are seeing the change and have grown up in freedom and growing up with the idea that capitalism is a system that can work when, it, when it's done well. Yeah. So uh, the opportunities here are just tremendous and, and uh, I'm hoping we can bring more people all the time. Uh, every time I come, I try to bring somebody. I didn't on this trip, but I generally bring somebody from my, my city. So I brought my kids, I brought friends, I brought business cool. people. And now my challenge when I go back, I want to bring a few entrepreneurs that have capital, that have expertise, that want to plow back into you guys. So the first place I'm going to stop is with you guys. We're going to be in Maniskisa, open hand in Campina. Cool. Uh, so I hope to bring back resources uh, that are appropriate. Yeah. I don't think they were appropriate, the kind of resources we were talking about 20 years ago, yeah. but there's so much opportunity now, there's a lot of groundwork laid. Right. Uh, what I'm seeing out of your organization and our own organization is just uh, a foundation and, and now an opportunity to really begin to, to reap some of those seeds that we've sown. They're growing, they need to be watered, they need to be fertilized, and uh, yeah, so there's, there's going to be a fruitful harvest, I'm pretty sure. Awesome.